Hobbies for men. Modern life is mostly just sitting down and staring at a screen. In the office. At home. On the bus or the train. Let's be honest, you're doing it right now. And we all know that feeling of mental screen burn, that slightly wired fuzziness behind the eyes. The effects are real. Studies have reported shrinking of brain tissue and impaired cognitive function from excessive screen time. A report from last year confirmed U.S. adults were spending over 10 hours each day staring at a screen, while a U.K. study revealed we spend more time on devices than in bed. Prolonged TV viewing has also been connected to increased risk of diabetes and heart disease. These hobbies for men will get you away from the screen and stimulate both body and mind. Urban Orienteering Staring at your phone's GPS isn't just giving you screen-related fatigue, it's stopping your brain's ability to work things out, in this case directions, for itself. Urban Orienteering is a half-race, half-mental challenge, reading a real map while running outdoors. The perfect hobby as well as remedy. Play adult board games. Studies have linked board games to boosts in cognitive skills and good mental health. And there are plenty of adult-orientated games out there. For a fun hobby, try Historical Fantasy Scythe, Space Opera Strategy Quantum, or Puzzler Sagrada. Joining a club is every bit as addictive as social media, only the people and interactions are real. Start ground hopping. You can waste a lifetime watching sports on never-ending 24-hour channels, slowly frying your brain and adding extra pounds. Get out and see a game for real. In fact, go one better and visit as many stadiums and club grounds as possible in the sport you love the most, one of the ultimate collecting hobbies for men. Visiting a sports ground. Create art. With chainsaw carving. Turn off the computer, go outside, and start one of the most manly hobbies you can possibly do with your hands. Carve something out of a massive block of wood with a chainsaw. It's a rugged workout, but can be a rewarding hobby. Extra points if you make something actually artistic. Start an allotment. The health benefits for this are obvious. Fresh air, sunshine, light exercise, and an unlimited source of vitamins and minerals. It's also the height of 21st century masculinity to grow your own, food that is, not a beard, though it helps the earthy hipster look. At the very least, try growing some herbs in a window box. Take photographs, without your phone. It seems like a thing of the past, a lost analog art, if you like, but there are still impressive film cameras available to buy. Old school cameras are still superior in natural light for authentic looking photographs. Plus, by having to get it right, you skip all the time you spend dropping filters or fiddling in post-production apps on your phone. You have to be in the moment. Photographer. Learn some magic. You can tinder all you want, but you're not going to learn any new ways to impress a potential date staring at your phone. And what's more impressive than a flawlessly performed magic trick? Solve some jigsaw puzzles. Numerous studies have found evidence that puzzles help delay memory decline in old age and ward off degenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's by keeping you mentally active. Jigsaws also require visual spatial skills, which engage different parts of the brain and enhance problem solving skills namely the ones that are usually fried into submission by your inbox. Go metal detecting. A wonderfully lonesome hobby for men who enjoy the great outdoors and the quiet thrill of trying, but inevitably failing, to find buried treasure. There's also a whole detecting subculture and hobbyist clubs to get involved with, and yes, there is a slim chance that you'll find the lost Ark of the Covenant. Fishing with your bare hands. If the only thing you do with your hands these days is click a mouse and swipe left, it's time to go all hunter-gatherer. Fishing is among the most popular hobbies for men, so why not give it a go? Trout tickling is a real thing, a technique that sends trout into a hypnotic daze when you stroke their undersides. If you can master that, you can call it a day on man skills. You've already won. 
Fishing. Manly hobbies to extinguish burnout. Stress, exhaustion, and being overworked can all lead to burnout, a very 21st century health problem. The symptoms are closely related to depression, such as severe anxiety, insomnia, and both physical and mental fatigue. A YouGov poll in 2015 found that 51% of full-time employees in the UK had experienced burnout. It's all too easy to make it worse and keep piling on the work. But there's only one way to tackle the effects, relax. Here are some suggestions for very chill, meditative hobbies for men that put your to-do list out of mind. Become a black belt in origami. A step up from the old school paper airplane, origami has seen a resurgence in interest for its ability to achieve mindfulness, tranquility, and even meditation through the art on teeny tiny paper folding. Build a city out of Lego. The adult Lego fan community gets bigger all the time, but the beauty of Lego is that it's one of the all-time solitary hobbies for men. Designing and building is the perfect combo of taking on a manly project and in spending some serene, childlike time with oneself. The polar opposite of assembling flat pack furniture. Collect trainers. A stylish alternative to the usually geeky hobby of memorabilia or stamps is collecting the, the best and rarest sneakers from around the world, from sports to hip-hop and custom-made designs. The personal satisfaction of a great collection, especially one that makes you look so good, is immense. Seek out local stores rather than just relying on eBay to join in on one of the best hobbies for men. Sneaker collecting. Take up knitting. That's right, knitting. In the last few years, more young men have taken up knitting as a pastime, not just to get creative with colored wool, but because it's an effective de-stressor and relaxation exercise. Plus, it's absolutely bang on trend right now. Become a spotter. Train spotting is kind of old hat, but there are lots of other spotter hobbies, bird watching, of course, cars, dragonflies, trees, even fungi. All you need is yourself, some half-decent weather, and a notebook. Try anti-gravity cocooning. It sounds like a craze, and it kind of is, but this is among the most creative hobby ideas for getting in the zen zone. It's essentially a light yoga-style workout while cocooned in a hammock suspended from the ceiling, followed by a bit of a nap designed to energize both body and mind. It works.